Confine Masonry. Introduction. What is Confined Masonry? Confined Masonry is a seismic resistant construction technique in which the masonry walls are built before the reinforced concrete columns and beams. This technique is not new. It has been successfully used for over 50 years in various countries such as Mexico, Peru, Chile, China, India, and Pakistan. Confined masonry is a construction technique which does not require advanced knowledge. Its principles are simple and within reach of most construction workers. This technique allows the construction of buildings up to six stories high under the supervision of an engineer and up to two stories if following the instructions of this video. The designation confined masonry comes from the fact that the masonry walls are confined by reinforced concrete elements in order to provide stronger resistance in the case of an earthquake. The following example illustrates the principle of confined masonry. Here is a pile of books, which need to be held in position. Without any confining elements, the books can be pushed in any direction and will fall. If they are bound together with a single rope, the pile of books is still unstable and will fall easily. However, if ropes are placed on each extremity of the pile and in both directions, it becomes more difficult to move the books around, making the pile of books more stable. This is how confined masonry works. Confined masonry versus reinforced concrete frame. Confined masonry does not cost more than reinforced concrete frame construction, which is a very widespread construction technique. Both techniques use the same materials, such as concrete, cement blocks, or bricks, steel rebars, etc. The main difference is that in reinforced concrete frame construction, columns and beams are built before the block or brick walls. In confined masonry, however, walls are built first and then confined by concrete tie elements, namely tie beams, tie columns, sill band, and opening reinforcements. In reinforced concrete frame structures, columns and beams are the load-bearing elements. The masonry infill walls are only non-bearing spatial separations. Such a system which bears loads only with the columns and beams is a more flexible system. In confined masonry, however, the walls carry both vertical and horizontal loads. These walls bound together by the confining elements form a more rigid construction system. Building Configuration A number of principles must be respected to make sure that the confined masonry system works. The building length should not exceed three times its width. In each facade, there should be at least one solid wall panel without openings, and which is called a shear wall. The building plan should be a regular shape, ideally rectangular. If the shape of the building is more complex, it should then be divided into several independent square or rectangular forms, leaving between each of them a gap of 40 to 60 centimeters. These free spaces are called seismic gaps. The second floor walls must be built directly over the first floor walls, respecting vertical continuity. Overhanging walls should be avoided. <laughs>